yards. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. What's the old adage, be quick but don't hurry? Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be getting rid of, otherwise he was going to get sacked. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. And this one is right down the middle. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off that lead. And now you put the pressure on your defense, who didn't particularly play all that well in the first half. But they're going to need to step it up here and make some plays if these guys are going to have any chance. And now back out comes the offense. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there, almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. As they run the counter play. They'll be dropped at the 30. The shifty move couldn't free him. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And these numbers showing up on the screen, that's why he's their star. They kept him down for a little bit, couldn't keep him down for a full four quarters. So what they were hoping for was a half of a game. And if they could have shut it down at the half, they had done their job. But as you mentioned, a full four quarters and the best, they always feel like they're one run away from changing the momentum or breaking something big. And we're starting to see that here in the second half. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Under pressure and down he goes. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. The offense on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This will be a tough third and 18. for his running back and he's got him complete and they'll take him down at the 31 yard line give him six on the play and that'll bring up fourth down well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense isn't it 
Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over, and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. And the play clock's running down. Going to give this time to the tailback. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. And an alley to run. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake go. things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special <laughs> plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Here's Bradley Pinion now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and... This isn't working, and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Nice job there on the tackle. Keep him to the short gain. And, of course, he got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award 
because of plays like that. Not every play is spectacular. Not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you, keep it to short gains, and you pile up statistics. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 17, and it'll give him a first down. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Play clock winding down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Let's go! Blue and to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. play clock under a heavy rush and down he goes the amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary let's just face it this offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush it's been demonstrated time and time again third quarter throwing right and that's complete and he takes it all the way down to the three and they rattle off a big one 41 yards there will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield but when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in San Antonio, as we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. Now, this will be the ninth play on this drive. Now, a handoff as they run left side. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Neutral zone infraction, defense. So the pigskin will move from the two down to the one. And I have not met an offensive line yet that doesn't think they can get it in from the one-yard line on a running play. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Ah! They 
They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's going to go backward. They get him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Brandon, that's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. And this offense on third down today, not quite 50%, four for nine. They're looking at a third and goal here. And the play clock's running down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. With touchdown number 20 on the year. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating will we have to make the call? They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Ah! Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, he's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. This offense so far on third down, they've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This is third down and 12. Looking middle and that's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. They had a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand.
Now this offense about ready to take over again. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? Here we go. Three, 19. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. That is caught at the seven yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead now up to 22. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here, because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Call it a gain of three. And that'll make it third and one. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Come on, let's go! One, nine, and this is 
is going to be incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Going to give this time to the tailback. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? Hey, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. Play clock winding down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. Now they try the right side here. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. Here's Marquette King now as he's on to kick it away. Time running out here on the play clock. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off, and he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> that was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but it he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. <laughs> we'll see what his offense can do. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them, they? Don't get they get a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. yard line great field position here in the red zone and with that kind of a deficit you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes but it's been pretty symptomatic what we've seen all game with them isn't it down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth you'd quarter you'd say an afternoon to forget absolutely And here now the offense heading back out there. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And that'll move him a little closer. 
closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two minute warning. From the four, it's second and goal. <laughs> Yeah, not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. Both the run and pass still in play here on third and goal from the three. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His 21st touchdown of the season. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching, and he'll tell the ownership that <laughs> as he tries to negotiate a new contract <laughs> off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The defense now getting set and heading back onto the field. They have played a really good game. They're just looking for one final stop here and celebrate this victory. And if you're on offense, you don't want them to have that satisfaction. You know that you're not going to win the game. But you don't want them to roll in with those big grins on their faces. So you want to come up with something right here, some type of a big play to Let's dent go. that good mood. And they'll be trying to not let that dent happen and go home happy. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Quick throw that's complete on the inside slam. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target second down now after the pass completion and he's just going to get rid of this thing to no one here he throws it away and now it's third Let's see if they can convert here on third and three. Let's go! And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Did you see that route the way that I did? I that thought was, he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Fresh set of downs here. On, and looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Again, he'll drop the throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. 
And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. It's been that kind of a day so far throwing the football. It just seems like nothing going right offensively. Yeah, it's a catch that should have been made pure and simple. And look, everything else that goes into running a good pass route, throw it all out if you don't catch the ball. It's been that kind of game throwing the football so far. Nothing going right offensively. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. The offense staring at a third and 12 here. Set up to throw. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Elsewhere in the NFL, they're in the fourth down in New Orleans. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Christian McCaffrey, a good game to this point. He's closing in on 100 yards rushing. And now back out comes the offense. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. running back <laughs> a big hit knocked down sideways a road win in the national football league charles you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing no matter where you're playing you take it and you run with it <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility no one thinks we can do this only people who believe are right here in this room and then you go on the road band together and get it done so for the Dubliners, it's an 11th win of the year as they'll finish the regular season at 11-5. And, and now they'll await the final seeding for the playoffs ahead. Meanwhile, for San Antonio, they drop their seventh game on the year. And it will be a disappointing finish to the regular season, no doubt. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.